Uh, let me share with y'all something that I had that I made that I um, have hanging up in my house. I have a lot of weird stuff hanging up in my house. Um, but it's for me. It's for me only. And it's like, even when I have company, it depends on who the company is. Um, I take it down because I don't, you know, I don't, you know, it's my personal business. It's my, my goal. And I am putting this out here for the universe, for the world to see. But people in my personal life don't really know that I have a YouTube channel. But um, I made this back in, what, like March or April of this year. I want to say March. When I, uh, when I really, really, when something clicked and I was really serious about losing weight and I knew that I was going to get to my goal eventually. Um, but I made this as motivation. So even though I'm making this video now, doesn't mean I haven't really thought about this subject. Um, and I put this up to, I'll never really be disgusted with myself, even at my highest weight, because I am me and I love myself. But it's the whole image that I'm disgusted with um, that I felt like I portrayed to society when I went out of the house. <laughs> Whatever. I, I don't want y'all to think I'm crazy. But anyway, this is a picture I have hanging up. I don't look at it and I don't, don't, I don't contemplate it every day. I just see it. And sometimes, you know, I take a moment and I, I think about how far I've come and I really look at it and I, um, and I um, really think about some of the things that I wrote on it and just try to um, see myself as, as how, how I envision myself being in the future. Anyway, what it is is a picture of me at my highest weight. This is the very first picture. You'll recognize the picture as my before picture um, that I use for when I first started losing weight on YouTube. Um, and on it, I wrote some words that, you know, some negative words to kind of um, make me feel as though these are not things that I want to be. They're adjectives. And you might not necessarily agree with them. You might. I don't really care. But uh, anyway, this is a picture of me. And I wrote a bunch of th stuff on there. And I'm going to let you look at it. I'm going to let you read it. Um, anyway, why am I delaying this? Here it is. Okay. This is my before picture. You see that? The one that I put in my before vi uh, videos. My before and after weight loss videos. And so I put this picture of myself. And I wrote on it. And I wrote a lot of different stuff that I, I was feeling, and I'm just being honest here, so I am sharing this with you guys. But I was just feeling about myself um, when I see the picture, okay? Fat black woman, all right? I just, so many of us are overweight, and I just don't want to be that anymore. I'm just going to be honest with you. Um, wide. <laughs> Some of it's funny to me, but, you know, lonely. Sometimes I do get pretty lonely. I feel unloved unattractive I think that kind of goes without saying and I'm just being honest sloppy I just felt like this picture my clothes just kind of look so sloppy even though I was smiling I think inside I was sad and sometimes I still do get sad um but not really because I know where I'm going and this you know I kind of felt lost before I, before this point but you know I feel better about myself now bloated just my face was so bloated you know, like I say, I'm still a big girl, but I'm not, um, I'm not this big. Unhappy, yes. Um, and I was thinking about putting some more adjectives, but I think this, this kind of, this kind of is enough. You know, it proves a point to myself. Um, and so that's kind of, that's my motivation. That's what my motivation to really keep going and to to keep doing healthy things I make way better choices now and, and like I said this is not really a weight video for me but um, just personally I, I you know I, I'm showing more self-control and restraint when it comes to the choices that I make all right and so that's what allowed me to lose 60 pounds well I don't want to say I'm I think I'm exaggerating not quite 60 from my highest weight it's almost 60 but um, from YouTube it's been about 50 to be honest, I really just, I love black women, okay? I am a black woman. My mother is a black woman. My sister, uh, my nieces, you know, they're girls, but they're so sweet. Um, out of my sister, my mother, my grandmother, my aunt, myself, this is on my mom's side, I guess, we are all overweight, okay? Overweight. My sister uh, is probably the heaviest now. I probably was the heaviest, but she's the heaviest now. 
my mom is not as heavy as her but you know she's about my size now but still overweight okay um and it's just not that uncommon for black women to be think about your own family if you're a, if you're a black woman think about the people in your family that you know black women that are overweight next time you go out in public count the first 10 black women you see and then go back and recount and say now how many of those women are overweight i guarantee you it will be at least five of them i guarantee it um i really want black women to look at ourselves as being the beautiful creatures that we are we get a lot of shit from people unnecessarily and we do um let's take our health and in, in our own control you know let's not give other people yet another reason to dog us you know that includes just any and everybody you know um and i just really hope somebody takes inspiration from this video you know i don't make the best of choices like i say i'm still i'm still fat <laughs> i don't mind being honest hey i'm 200 and something pounds and it you know it may be a whole nother year before i reach my goal weight but just i think there needs to be a mental shift in black women to stop being satisfied with being overweight and trying to say that it's thick or trying to say that it's oh, it's all right it's it's acceptable or uh it's okay to be big boned mm -mm. no 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 it's not bones it's not bones human bones aren't meant to hold that much weight okay it's it's body fat that doesn't need it's bringing your health down basically um and i honestly i just I just want you guys to know that I love and support black women, so this is not a diss type of video, but it's just really to get us all thinking about um, the image that we portray, the image that we uh, portray, and that we the the way that we view ourselves, you know, because I honestly think a lot of black women, as confident as we are, um, which we are, I think that's something that's innate. I think it's something that uh, we're born with. <laughs> Just because, well, no, maybe not born with. I think our confidence is something that we have to have in order to really, um, you know, overcome some of the challenges that we face. You know, I think black women are stronger because we have less people taking up for us. We have less people catering to us. You know, we get the shit done and we do it on our own. We don't even have a lot of black men to help us when we need them. Um, please don't leave comments because you know that's the truth but anyway um that was directed to black men <laughs> but um so we are strong almost by default but i think a lot of us internally we do feel we get tired of being strong all the time we get tired of being um you know the person that, that has to do it all all the time and so i think with that comes maybe we're not feeling as confident as we portray ourselves and I don't I think being overweight just maybe adds to that internal distress that we may feel sometimes so um and I and with to that I just want to say it's okay to feel as if you you can do it all it's okay to feel sad it's okay to feel a little depressed as long as you're trying to do things that are going to help you get out of that and if it's tied to your weight as long as you're making a choice to do healthier things um like so many of you guys are doing um that you know have inspired me as long as i've been on here i wanted to put that out there because it was on my mind and um hopefully you know there'll be at least a couple of people who who will agree with me at least in in some part of what i'm saying here um bye guys <laughs> i hope you are done with your christmas shopping i hate shopping for christmas but um it has to be done sometimes sometimes i'm being nice this year so I'm, I'm getting gifts um i hope you guys are having a fabulous holiday i hope you stay safe i hope you're safe if you're in the northeast um i feel for you uh if you're elsewhere enjoy time with your family and uh i will be posting a weight in video um i'm not i haven't been doing them i have been weighing in but i haven't been doing um my update videos regularly i'm gonna do a weight video probably a before and after my last one for 2009 on um on um the last day of the year so the 31st is when thursday the 31st is when i'm going to do another video staying what my end of the year weight was it was my goal is to be under 220 
I don't really know if I'm going to hit that. I might hit it. I'm 223 now, but, um, you know, it's only, you know, the week and a half left in a year. So um, I'll be doing that then. All right. I will talk to you guys. See you then. And um, talk to you later. <laughs> Bye.